Hey everyone, this is DM Domination from Grim Press, and today I'm going to be highlighting another Fantasy Grounds module for you, specifically a Fantasy Grounds series of modules. Today, the Monster Loot series by Anne Gregerson. This is one of my absolute favorite series, not only because it provides an easy use access to every single creature's standard loot, but also it allows a additional system known as harvesting to be used in almost any campaign that you desire. So let's dive right in. I'm going to go ahead and close these covers here, and we will go over the way this works. So the newest one is Monster Loot Curse of Strahd. So I have this one pulled up because it's the most up-to-date, and I'm going to use it to show you how it works, and then I'll show you some of the things that span across the whole series. So the rules are the same across the entire series, <clears throat> and they're covered under the introduction. You have harvesting checks for the new harvesting system that is incredibly useful. I love it. My players love it in both of my campaigns, Out of the Abyss and Ghosts of Saltmarsh. And essentially what it is is when you kill a creature, you will do a harvesting check based on the challenge rating, and then you will use that to determine whether you can harvest my players recently harvested a lithid, and they are very excited about some of the body parts they were able to carve off of this particular enemy. So it adds a dynamic that's missing in the standard 5e rules that allows you to gain something, and killing a monster feels more rewarding. There are numerous other rules that I'll let you read when you pick this up, such as the how long after time of death and types of loot that you can use. And with the Monster Loot Curse of Strahd, as well as all the other modules released, you have not only the new monsters that come in that specific adventure, but you also have the monsters from the Monster Manual that appear in that adventure available in the Fantasy Grounds module. That way you can't be punished for not having bought all of the other modules. So if you just want Curse of Strahd, you will get all the creatures from Curse of Strahd. It will find the monsters that are in the monster manual replicated here. So some of the new monsters from the Curse of Strahd story, we have Baba La Saga. If you are playing, having players that are going to fight her and you kill her, you'll be able to pick up Baba La Saga's spell book, and you will see here that the spells are linked from the SRD module and a broken quarterstaff that was broken during battle the Pendant of Mother Knight, and these are really good items that your players will be able to take. On the other hand, if you have something like a Tree Blight, you would be able to actually harvest it and take things such as a branch from the Tree Blight and craft it into a mall. You will be able to take the roots, and they can be crafted into a net. There are additional things that you'll be able to eat or use from monsters, as well as the actual armor. If you take a look in the monster manual creatures from the Curse of Strahd, we can take a look here in a diva, which appears in the town of Kresg. If you defeat a diva and are choosing to harvest it, you would then be able to take feathers, and it's bracers, it's divine tongue, so you'll notice that it's both equipment and body parts together. I will point out that the items vary in their difficulty depending on the challenge rating and the reward. So if you have a divine tongue, you will be able to eat it to gain the benefits of the spell tongue. If you take the mace, you will notice that it is a mace that gives radiant damage, and it's already factored in, but it requires a good aligned creature. You will notice that unlike the D.Va, many of the creatures, such as the Bandit Captain, their equipment is damaged in the battle, and that is a mechanic introduced by the Monster Loot series. The details can be found in the introduction and how much it costs to repair it. There is additionally some of the actual animals, taking the giant wolf spider, for example. You get the giant wolf spider hide. If you kill two of them and get two hides and successfully harvest them, you'll be able to craft your own leather armor that removes restrictions while you are in webbing. 
and this expands across numerous, numerous different options. I'm going to go ahead and close this down for now and pull up a different version. So let's go down to Tyranny of Dragon, and you can pull up the same style of access to the new monsters, the including Tiamat herself, the Dragon Queen. You'll be able to see what to give your players when they kill her, such as Black Dragon Scales, and with 20 of these, you will be able to craft Scale Mail Armor. The advantage here is that you will be able to allow your players to not only introduce harvesting, but you'll also be able to introduce a new type of crafting system and advise them on how to use that crafting system and provide the very basic system here that is really good for people who just want to introduce some expanded crafting without getting too many rules. The monster loot system so far includes the Curse of Strahd, Tyranny of Dragons, Lost Minds of Fandelver, the Eberron campaign setting. It also includes the Descent into Avernus, as well as Volo's Guide to Monsters, Mordekainen's Tome of Foes, and the Monster Manual. The Volume 1 being the Monster Manual, you'll be able to take a look here at the huge selection of creatures, so many so that they had to be subcategorized into their alphabetized options. The Aboleth, the Angels are sub-subcategorized, so you have endless options. The last piece of information that I did want to give you is that in the parcels, such as the Ancient Brass Dragon, you will notice that there is a number already here in the parcel list. And following the Wizards of the Coast standard, when there is a option, I have included the maximum possible you can gain. So when you're awarding these out to your players, you can award them 12 Brass Dragon Claws, or you can have them roll for a number of Brass Dragon, dragon Claws up to 12. But the parcels will be set up so that you can award the maximum amount, and if you wanted to edit it, that is, of course, your DM prerogative. If you have any questions, you can reach out to Grim Press, and this has been the Monster Loot Series by Ann Gregerson.